What I'm hoping to achieve is to understand how the arena of social value is, is moving on from its beginnings and aligning it to the other things that we also cover in our sustainability work. The thinking behind why we do this has moved on so much since our last summit a year ago that we needed to get people together to, to understand how that thinking had evolved and how we could share it and how we could try and get everybody not so much on the same page but in the same book. As the UK continues to invest in its own infrastructure, uh, how can we you know, maximise the number of jobs and opportunities for people displaced from the labour market? How can we meet our environmental obligations? It's, it's how we buy and spend £300 billion of public money in the smartest way possible for the benefit of our societies, our, our people and our planet. I, um, uh, I actually live, eat, breathe, sleep, social enterprise and social value and what I was hoping to achieve today is to spread some of that so that people walk out of here from a very important summit to go out there and start to talk and be the future ambassadors of social value so that we can make it really, really meaningful in our communities, across our public sector and indeed across the whole of the UK. I think, in a sense, InterServe is different in that we've recognised social value and we're starting to measure it, we're starting to talk about it. I think many businesses actually do a lot of stuff that is good social value, but they don't necessarily realise it because a lot of it is common sense, it's about a long-term view, it's about relating to, to the locality in which our people live and work. So, in some senses, we're ahead of the pack, um, but in many senses, you know, there's a lot of good stuff going on around us. If the experience of Blue Sky is anything to look at and learn from, there are thousands of jobs out there for disadvantaged people. You just know how to find them. And that's what I hope to uh, be able to impart to people. An important part of that is how you unlock social value. Services to the public need to be socially useful. You can't be socially useful if you don't have social values. And you can't have social values if you don't have any values. It's very simple.